Again, thanks, camera guy. You've been a real Enough of help. This. Let the Aztecs triumph for once and for all. You really think you should be saying this at that point? Or <laughs> that at this point? Wow. Okay, his platoons are females. Holy Toledo. We're about to have a age of Aquarius in my town. Let me tell you. Oh, now the volcano wonders charged. Who wants the body? I think he does. I don't know. Should I fire it out of this other side of his village? I think I should. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I need homes now. So we should take that into consideration because now we're going to have homelessness. Yeah, we do. So we should probably plan for that. You know, by uh, building some stuff. Building some houses. Making sure we don't go homelessness. Is that good enough? I forgot if homelessness changed. Oh, shit. It's not nearly even good enough. Now I might as well start building skyscrapers. That sounded so cocky. Sorry. I don't know. Do we wait or do we just fire a volcano a disaster and win? Because either one is really going to lead to a win here. Either waiting for these buildings to be built or fire another volcano at them. I think I know which one I'm going to go with. Not taking my evil into consideration because I don't give a shit. Let's fire another volcano at him. And hope it goes well for him. Should I do it here or up here? Nah, I'll do it here. Right next to Big Skull Face. Jeez, creature, you gotta go all honking and shit in the cutscene. Jeez. I'm trying to do something here. And again, we see the volcano tear apart the other side of this town now. Granted, this one's going to kill a lot more villagers and a lot less armies. And it's not going to be as bad on his walls, but it's still going to be pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those houses. They don't even get a chance. They just disappear. And we win. <laughs> That's awesome. I think we'll enjoy this last uh, showing of the volcano. So what do you gotta say, bitch? They are too strong. Everything is lost. The Aztec Empire that would have ruled for millennia is destroyed. in the palm of my hand and from nothing they returned with overwhelming force to devastate us the prophecy we dismissed has come true the Greeks had a god without that they would have been crushed to dust we won the world is ours think of the cities we can build Think of the future. Never doubted you for a moment, boss. Huh, does this mean there's no one left to kill, though? Except each other. Boss, you know we should have won using armies in war alone, don't you? I like how I went for kind of like a middle ground there. If you really think about it, I won not by impressiveness. I won by lowering his. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until now. I, I like, 
kung fu my way out of that. That was... That was impressive. <laughs> I gotta say. I didn't even realize what I had done until I did it. So there you go. You can either win through war, impressiveness, or by lowering theirs. Which is actually pretty smart when you think about it. It's like I read some kind of book or something. Anyways, we're going to depart land now and watch the end. I am speechless. You have restored the Greek nation against all odds. You are a god among... You wanted war, Aztecs? You got it. We beat them, boys. We beat them. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. And now we watch such an odd and ridiculous ass credit scene that doesn't fit the game at all. Anyways. Oh, fuck you, Peter Molyneux. He's such a dick. Anyways, what you can do with this uh, credit scene is you can, uh, you can kind of like move it around and stuff. And, you know, it's pretty funny. Once the words fade, you kind of can push them around. And if they're inside the the dark part they get stuck in there and you can move them around in there and they have physics in there and if they're outside they have physics outside you can zoom out by dragging your cursor way out to make letters really big like consistently move your cursor to make them really big or you can like zoom in with a scroll and make letters really small interesting right totally not anyways uh, so what is next for the uh, Let's Plays? Oh, I should say, thank you so much, guys, if you stuck through this and watched this whole LP. This LP has had some really, really boring parts to it. Like, even I can admit that. And then again, this isn't always, this game isn't, you know, constant action. You know, this game has boring parts, too. They're, like, how many times have we hit a part where I was like, okay, now to play the waiting game? You know, but still, it was a great foretold, foretold, I don't know, it was a great um, expedition into what was uh, supposed to be an experiment because, you know, I originally did this LP so that I can test out how, uh, go, how LPing an RTS would be, you know, to see if that would actually go well, to see if that would be entertaining, and I think that an RTS would be, you know, maybe equally or maybe a little bit more entertaining than this was. But then again, that's just my, uh, that's my creationist block where I'm kind of like, you know, I doubt all my own stuff. I'm like, ugh, everything I do sucks, but, you know, that's just the nature of being an artist. Not that this is art, you know, I don't want to sound like a pompous windbag, even though it's way past that. Anyway, I better stop talking and actually get to the point of what I'm trying to say. I have no idea what's going to be next, but uh, I'm sure it will be entertaining and awesome. And not to say that this wasn't, again, you know, this was fun. I had a lot of fun with it, and I hadn't played this game in years. And that's the first time, I'm going to admit this, that was the first time I had beaten this game without using cheats. And cheating in this game is pretty hard because you have to actually use a trainer, which is like a program you have to run in the background that you know, activates the cheats in game for you. There's no, like, something you type in or anything like that. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun to cheat, and it's fun to win on your own. It feels more satisfying to win on your own. I'm screwing up this credit sequence by sitting here and putting letters in impossible places. Well, I can't fit! <sighs> But again, thank you guys so much for watching Let's Play Black and White 2. I had a blast, and I love each and every one of you for sticking around, subscribing, or doing whatever it is you do. Sorry, I had to turn on my light there for a moment. I don't know if you heard that or not. Either way, you know... Oh, and that's another thing. I think this t <laughs> credit sequence is actually pretty long, but I'm not 100% sure how long it is. I guess we'll see. I don't know if that was in sync or not. It 
probably wasn't. Oh well. I've already said I don't know what's next yet. Yeah, I think I have. Like, three times now. I mean, I, I was going to uh, do uh, Warcraft 3 after this, because this was, again, my experiment into uh, an RTS-like uh, Let's Play. And... Um, I've been in a mood to play that recently, but, you know... Uh, sorry, no, I'm yawning. Jesus Christ, boy, you're trying to do an ending and you're yawning all over it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the Warcraft 3 thing, though, because back when I said it, I was really in the mood for it. I was like, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Like, I'm going to be super knowledgeable about that game. But, you know, I'm not 100% sure if I'm feeling it again. I might be up for it. I might like start it and then I'd be like super into it, but I can't say for sure. And that's the worst thing is to uh, start a an LP that you're not in the mood for. I mean, you should always be playing a game that you, you know, want to be playing. That's kind of like how I am with uh, Fallout 3 sometimes right now. Sometimes it just, I'm so not in the mood to play it. But, you know, not a whole lot we can actually do about that. Let's sweep away all these letters. <sighs> Fun times. Oh my god, I'm yawning again. I gotta stop this. Well, actually, with this done, and me not starting a new uh, blind LP, you guys are only going to get Fallout 3 until I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Like, literally, it's only going to be Fallout 3 episodes going forward until I can figure out exactly what I want to do. Fast food orders consumed. Toilet rolls used. Are you kidding? It's like saying in your credit, shit's taken during the course of the production of this. I mean, if you... The toilets, ro toilet rolls used. I mean... What? You gotta like... You gotta think... How many, to how many shits are in a toilet roll? Maybe... My dogs are barking. Maybe 50? I don't know. That seems like a little low. I mean, it depends if you're a high roller or not. You know, someone who uses a ton of paper. Let's say... Um... Let's say there are... 60 shits in a roll of toilet paper. So they had about 22,000. So let's think about this. When... Hold on. Let's just... Okay. I was like, this mental math is going to be hard, and then I realized, you know, it's just 22, 220 times 60, plus three zeros. So it'd be, actually, 132, yeah, 132,000 shits, almost, about, roughly, 132,000 shits, ladies and gentlemen, in the production of Black and White 2. Now, I honestly can't tell you how many shits went into this LP, but uh, if I had to put one up, I think it'd be about... <laughs> I really don't know. I live with three other people, so... What? I can put, uh... You know what? I'll top their number. 3,000 toilet paper rolls used. Done. Boom. Unless their thing was like... 223,000 toilet paper rolls used, but then if that's the case, damn! 
I gotta what? Oh my god, I'm yawning again. I gotta wonder how uh, how many how long this game is in production for. I'm not sure. I mean, did they use more toilet paper during Black and White One's production? Also, side note: No, I'm not gonna play Black and White One. It's essentially the same game, but with a lot less in it. Uh, Black and White One is ten times harder than this game. It is a lot harder because let's just say winning through impressiveness ain't a thing. It's like impossible. It's just a ten times more difficult game. The AI is a lot worse, stuff like that, and you know, with already the AI in this game plus worse AI, you know, you can't even imagine. But uh, you know, that's what happens. And also, there is an expansion to uh, Black and White Two called um, a Battle of the Gods, I believe, and I do own it, and I could play it, but I'm not gonna let's play it. Because I played the uh, the first level of it, and it is so difficult. Like, it starts you in like these impossible situations. Like you're already under siege by like three platoons, and it's like, hurry, build a village. It's like, oh my god. It's like, what do you expect me to do in this amount of time? It, I would almost consider Battle of the Gods an extension of Black and White 2 that's just a really difficult game mode. Like, almost like a challenge mode. But, yeah. It's, uh, it's... I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough son of a bitch. Or at least the first level is. It's also considered a whole separate game, so you know, you gotta go through all the tribute and stuff like that all over again, I believe. But, yeah. I'm not sure if it adds a whole lot in terms of buildings and stuff like that. But, uh... It does continue the story. But, um, you know... We aren't really gonna see that until the end of these credits. Because at the end of these credits, there's a video, and originally when I saw it, I thought it was hinting at Black and White 3, but it uh, hints at the DLC, or DLC, it hints at the expansion. Back then they didn't have DLC, man. But yeah, it hints at the storyline for the expansion. Because you know, you play Black and White for the story, Jeez. Like, we're going through all of EA's things. Like, like, what did I tell you? This credit sequence is longer than all the people's shits during the production of this game combined. Like, they're like, uh, let's thank the coffee shop down the street. Let's get all of their uh, employees' names. Let's get all of their managers' names. Let's get their extended store names. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, EA UK Mastering Lab. Who the fuck cares? None of those people probably even played this game. None of them. So why put them in the credits? Not that I'm saying, I'm not saying you should only put people who play the game in the credits. You should put people who really made a difference in the game in the credits. It's like nowadays, a lot of games, they put like, uh, like, uh, most recent example, Borderlands babies. Like, at the end of Borderlands 2, you get like a long ass list of all the fucking babies that were born during the production. It's like, who gives a shit? You know, it's like, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm like mini angry nerd rage ranting about this right now, but like, seriously, who cares? Who cares? Like, I understand like, special thanks and all that stuff, but doing, like, production babies? No. No. This is not what I paid for. These Greeks will fight me no longer. I mean, it's so pointless. It's like that bee that was just floating through there, if you saw that. It was, like, going through walls and shit. Anyway, um... 
God, what game did I play that did it right? It's like special thanks section was like super short. It didn't have a babies thing. I don't know. I think it. Jeez. Like special thanks to Nadine Mushnow. Like as if you couldn't have thanked her back during the you know first special thanks. Or if you wanted to throw her in the second one that you did. But no, she's like in the fifth one. Sound engineer. Holy crap. Like you're just now getting to these people. That guy's not even the director. <laughs> it's like someone snuck in. Okay, I understand the cast, but why is it this far in? Why is it this far in? That guy's name is Guido. Oh my god. There isn't even this many people in the game. <laughs> There's like what? The leaders and then the good and evil conscience. And then the few people who talk to you during quests. They're probably like thanking the people who did the Chinese version of the game. They're probably thanking the people who did the all sorts of different versions. Look at this. This is like the sixth special thanks section. Oh, game design. Black and White Studios. Who would have fucking guessed? Ugh, Peter Molyneux. He has to stick his name in the credits like six times where he gets the, like, you know, an excuse. Like, person who clogged the third floor toilet, you know, and used a whole fucking toilet paper roll. Thanks for bumping our number up, Peter Molyneux. Oh my god. Holy shit. Not only does this game have a long ass credits. Or, not only does it have a ridiculous ass tutorial level because of its length, it has like a credit that's almost a whole game in and of itself. What is going on? I feel like I'm repeating the credits, but I know I'm not. Like, I remember being long, but not this long. Holy crap! You're a god. You are a god among men if you've stuck around for this entire credit sequence to watch me slowly descend into insanity while I sit here. Like they're just now getting to the game programmers. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? No. Tid Cooney, go fuck a horse. I don't even care. I don't even care. Tom Rodders Rigby? What kind of a nickname is Rodders? If this goes on for another minute, I swear to God. If my clock is at 746, if it turns to 747, <laughs> I'd hit it with a 747. You know, jokes and whatnot. If it, <laughs> if clock strikes 747, Swear to God! Paul McLaughlin. Yeah, he's probably laughing his ass off because his fucking name's at the end of the credits. Or at least he thinks it's the end of the credits. He didn't make it this far. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way they're just now doing the artists. There's like a credit sequence, like in a movie, and you've been there for like 20 minutes watching the credit sequence, and then they're just now thanking the actors. No! We've seen box cover art! You can kiss my ass! There's... that's gotta be repeating. But then I gotta ask, why? Okay, enough anger, let's watch this, you know, cliffhanger scene. Hear us! We pray to the heavens! If there is an Aztec god, hear us now! Dude done screwed up. That is your uh, cliffhanger that leads into the storyline of Black and White 2. 
Battle of the Gods. Because basically, essentially, you play as the same god. You're still playing as the Greeks. But um, basically, as you saw, the Aztecs call their own god. And who they get is the god of death. So literally, they have an undead ape as their creature who is constantly bludgering you in every single mission. And their platoons are made of undead. And, like, they build units out of graveyards and stuff like that. And they're just... It's just a god that's completely based around death and stuff like that. And what makes the game so difficult, the expansion, is that, um, like, while you have this, all this, uh, you know, sh shit going on, uh, you also have to remember you're versing a god, and they wrote AI for this god. So basically, your opponent can cast miracles, he can cast, um... Uh, he pff, he can cast shit all over the place. He like pelts you with miracles. He can shoot wonders in precise locations. All sorts of things like that. So it's it's just difficult, you know. But uh, that's just I don't know. It's difficult to explain. It's hard to uh, explain. But just imagine fighting another god. He can do everything that you can. And now we go to the main menu, I believe. <laughs> Oh no! I forgot. The Norseland. I'm certain they'll join us. It's deja vu. Ah! Creature too. We need to build a. No, we don't need to build a town here. We need to get out of here. I'm clomping on my keyboard, clicking on my mickety mouse. Nothing works. Concentrate, and your godly powers will often let you hear. No, they hear my thoughts. What? Greeks on my homeland. But I saw them all die at the hands this of the This is what Aztecs. happens. This is the type of bull honky. Leader, if we build up an impressive enough town, these Norse will flock to join us. Or if we build a big army, we can hunt them down and put them to the sword. <sighs> As if you guys want to see this again. <laughs> I'm stuck in an infinite loop of playing black and white. But essentially that's what happens, you know, the game resets, but you have everything that you had. So, it's infinitely your creature, unfortunately, no, but <laughs> you have all the things you've bought, stuff like that, so Come along, we need it makes things incredibly we easy. Start making houses. So, that's what you get to do once you beat the game. Also, um, yeah, who gives a shit? Anyways... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this, uh, this, um, oh, also, another thing you get to do, you can skip the land if you, uh, if you've beaten it, so you can always go to whatever land you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play of Let's Play Black and White 2. That sounded a little bit redundant, but who cares? This has been your host, as per usual, on this channel, and will continue to be your host, we on you. So, I'll see you next time. I'm not 100% sure what it will be. But kind of expect Warcraft 3, maybe. If not, it'll be a surprise. Bye-bye.